Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time we finished Chapter 2, uh, The Great Boggly Tree, we are still in The Great Boggly Tree as you can see. Uh, but if we do a quick pause here, should be able to see... Yeah, we have three star power, we have collected uh, the second crystal star, so we're going to be leaving The Great Boggly Tree now. Head on out. Oh! I have to talk to you before I leave, or...? That were good? I think I talked to them in the previous video, actually. It's been a while. <laughs> hey! You hear that? Someone's mailing you! Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me, but please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email again if I uncover anything, okay? You must know I miss you. We have dreamt about our days back in the castle. I hope we'll spend carefree days there again soon. Incess Peak. Oh, isn't that sweet, Mario? That with that we got is presumably the letter that she sent in the previous intermission chapter. Uh, let me see here. Maybe one of those, and then I'd go the dark path. I'm looking forward to getting the badge that lets you swap partners without taking off a turn, because that would be very helpful. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Coops. Yeah! Oh my god, there's so many of them. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's do the same thing again. Another Quake Hammer. Okay, I think that's all of them. Now we can just leave. <laughs> yeah, we'll hit the save block. No, we did that, that's fine. I'm gonna do it again. Uh, we don't really need Gumbella out right now because we've already been here, so uh, we don't need to read the messages like that she can tattle again, is basically my logic. What we want to do now uh, is go back... Actually, I think we do want to go down this pipe. <laughs> I 
I think we want to go from... Yeah, we want to go back to the Thousand Year Door so that it will tell us where the third chapter is. I believe what we want to do to do that is go this way. And use the plane panel. Like so. Um, go for it, Mario. Break out the crystal star. Just a little warm in here. <laughs> Where could it be? It's in the sky. <laughs> the location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Um, I'm uncovering an ear so I can hear myself better. I don't want to talk too loudly into the microphone. In case that wasn't clear. Cool, the next crystal star showed up on the map. Hey, but is it me? Or is it in the sky or something? Um, what could that mean? Hmm. Ask Professor Frankly. That means that beneath this town, the thousand-year-old ruins remain intact. Is that what Professor Frankly voice has been a while, but I think that's what I was talking like. And that door has been sealed shut for a thousand years by the Crystal Stars. In order to open that seal, we must have muster the power of all the Crystal Stars. But, um, why would they need to seal the treasure away in the first place? You think maybe they just wanted to protect it from thieves and robbers? No, that's not. That's not what? I don't know. Whoa, Professor Frankly. I'm sorry. So sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is, no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. All that's written is this. Darkness stole, stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this more. Assuming we'll just make an... Well, you know the saying. They couldn't say the saying because they couldn't say us. <laughs> oh... Yeah, right. Anyway, what about the next crystal star? It looks like it's floating on that map. Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitzville. There's a stunning arena there where great warriors engage in furious battles. Ostensibly, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights, but behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wage on the bout. Uh, if it's a floating city, how the heck are we supposed to get there? A special blimp flies there. It departs from Rogueport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. Well, that doesn't sound hard. Anyone can use these channels, right? Right? Uh, I don't know, but I guess we don't have much choice. Word on the street is all tickets go through Don Pianto on the west side. Head west from Rogueport's main plaza and you'll reach the west side of town. That part of town is under the control of Don Pianta, the Pianta Syndicate head. Apparently Don Pianta makes pretty regular ja jaunts over to Glitzville. Well hey, that sounds easy. Let's have to talk to this Don Pianta person. They sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don Pianta is a recluse. Getting an audience for them will be difficult. Yeah, we have to go talk to the Pianta Mafia now. This game is great. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Whoa, whoa, hold up now, you're an outsider. Past this point is the turf at Ishna Ishnail, head of the Robos. It's ten coins to pass through. You try to pass without paying, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you, but good. Uh, really simple. If you don't pay, you don't pass. We're gonna beat that guy up later, but 
I don't know if we're ready yet. You want to find Don Pianta? I don't know why you think I'd know something like that. But the Robo Boss who claims this part of town on his turf might know. Yeah, Ishnail. He's the Robo Boss, and Don Pianta are rival criminal heads. So of course, talking to Ishnail about Don Pianta can be hazardous to your house. Okay, we actually maybe do want to talk to him now. It has been a long time since I've played this, so I don't super remember. We are low on flower points, so it's probably not the best time to initiate a combat right now. Uh, let's head to the inn, just so we can heal up a little bit. I think we can go to this side of town now too, right? No, look, I'm not letting you into the west part of town until you buy me a new lens. Sorry, but end of story. I can't cook anything without my contact lenses in. Ah, my rage is so hot right now, I could cook you with it. Right, we, we still need to find that contact lens. I think we can find one on Ishnael's side of town, but first we're going to go in here and have a little rest. Who do I talk to? You? No. Yes, Flurry was her name. She was skinny in tone, with a voice like an angel. She left the bright lights behind and went off to live in peace and quiet. Flurry, you say? Uh... Do you look anything like this? He's right here, hello. Fine then. Yeah, I'll use an ink coupon. Sleep well? Now you're ready to get out there and face the world. See you again soon. Okay, so we're going to... Have a look here. Might just fiddle with our badges a little bit. Uh, I'm not happy here. Let's put on power bounce. Wait, camera. Got room for one more. I put on shrink stomp. Let's see how we go. What level am I, by the way? Seven. That's, uh, six. So yeah, next I want HP again. Okay. Okay. Let's try taking on the guard over there. We probably want to use Coops uh, as our partner. Let's see how we go. So you can just pay the 10 coins every time you want to go through, uh, but you can also just fight him. Well, you got to be kidding. You can fight your way through here? I'm going to make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Oh, hang on. I wanted Goombella out first so I could cattle. Uh, okay, I'll switch to Goombella. <laughs> and then she can cattle. That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. Max HP is 20, attack is 3, and defense is 0. All in all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I've told you a million times, that pointy spear of his hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass through around 65 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Okay, uh, we're going to avoid jumping on him, because we don't have a spike shield, so that would be bad. Zebra's going to whack him with our hammer really hard. Uh, and then we're going to switch you back out, because you... Yeah, boops is who we want. Oh. 
Okay, I think we're doing fine. And I should take him out, right? Nineteen star points for us. Crud, you dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh, don't you? <laughs> oh, I like this game. Uh, I think I want Gimbella back so we can paddle again. I think I already read this. Yeah, I did. That's Swindell, the bandit. At least, I hear he's a thief, but I've never seen him steal. He's always whispering to Arthur about something. Hey, this area's a toe of Ishmael and the Robo bandit of thieves. Band of thieves. The boss is usually hiding in the back alley that few people can spot. So, I've been thinking, and I think I want to meet the Robo boss just once. The thing is, I have no idea where the thieves' hideout is located. The rumor has it a secret passageway around here, but could someone fit? That's awful. He's always hanging around here. He looks totally suspicious, but apparently he lives by some super stern moral code. Uh, there's a fence there, so we can't go that way just yet. Oop! You can fall in the water, though. Watch out! Look from the inside. Hey, is this your first time to the Trouble Center? Plan on using our services, I can explain them to you first. Need an explanation? I'll say yes. Listen and listen good. This Trouble Center is where he will come with troubles. That's why it's named that. If you want to see what kind of troubles people have, check that bulletin board. If you're a nice guy, you'll choose someone and try to help them out. If not, not. Help someone out and I'll give you a reward. Probably. Not a bad deal, eh? But remember, if you decide not to solve a trouble, you have to pay to cancel. You got that? Well, good. You can go help someone out. So this is like a side quest system. Uh, it's not as good as the one in Bug Fables, but it's it's decent. And yeah, there's just a bunch of stuff you can do. This is R4. I want to open a new shop, but I need help setting my prices. Since I can't go into a competitor's shop, I need some research done. I need the price of Fire Flowers, Sleepy Sheep, and Tasty Tonics in Rogueport. I'll meet you in front of this building to make the exchange. Eh, not now. I'll probably come back and do these later, but for the time being I'm going to focus on the main story. Who, me? My name's Pierre. I'm what's technically called a completely awesome thief. I used to work as a geologist researching the rocks under town, but it paid nothing. That's when Ishnael, the boss of the robbers, picked me up. Since washed my hands of geology and now an amazing thief. <laughs> That's Pierre. He sure does seem to have a lot of free time, doesn't he? Word is he's been busting his tail lately to catch the eye of the crime boss, Ishnael. Ishnael, Ishnael? Back that guy, you know the one. <laughs> Hey, we don't have much here, but make yourself at home if you want. I mean, you seem to have quite a decent amount of food there. That's Garth, part of the Robo Gang. I'm pretty sure he's related to Gus. He looks pretty gnarly, but he's actually pretty cool. Don't judge folks on looks. Why do you get off talking to me like nothing happened, like there was no whopping? Yeah, guys like you act real cool when you win. When you lose, you're all wah. That's Gus. He's part of that band of thieves who call themselves the Robos. He looks like a total maniac. He's actually a nice guy. Don't judge books by covers. Uh, this is where he books his side. Yeah, same, same message as before. You want something, chump? This is the fortress of the Robo thieves. You lost? What business brings a chump like you to a place like this? 
Fido vacation. What's that? You want to meet that lion, cheat, and steal, and no good jerky for brains, Don Pianta? Real thieves like us end up poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, yeah? You know all that, and you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb? Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it'll cost you 64 coins. And no budging on the price, not a single coin. Inside info is pricey, them's the breaks. Okay, I'll pay. Y you'll pay? Really? Yeah, you heard me. I can spare that. Yes! I mean, good call. You're a shrewd businessman. 64 coins, on the nose. I think if you say no, it will, the price will go down, but... <laughs> I can give him 64 coins, I don't mind. Okay, then clean those ears out and listen here. There's a parlour in the west part of town that's run by that worm, Don Pianta. Go to the store next to the parlour. Buy a dried shroom and a dizzy dial. Make sure you buy them in that order. Dried shroom, dizzy dial. You got that? You do that and the shopkeeper's gonna ask you what your favourite colour is. You answer yellow. You got that? Not green, not blue, yellow. You hear me? See, yellow is the password for getting to Don's scumbags though, so comfy office. You got all that? Yes. Baptiste Nael, leader of the thief band called the Robos, he really hates Don Pianta. I guess that's to be expected since they're bitter rivals and everything. Got some issues about money, but he's okay otherwise. Who knew? Oh, there's a star piece hiding there. I can go up here as well. I can't go high enough to reach that other star piece just yet. I might have to wait. Okay, we want to get to the west side of town. Uh, which is this way. Oh, we also want to come in here and talk to Merlon, actually. Hey, Merlon. Power up your partner. Talk to me from the other side of the table. Okay. Welcome to the home of Merlon, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish. With three shine sprites, I can power up your partners. Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but I also throw in a new move for free. So, which partner would you like me to power up? Uh, let me see, I've got eight, so I can power up two partners. I'm gonna rank up Goombella and Coops, I think. I, I, I'm just not big on Flurry as a character. I think that might have been Lovely Kiss in the original game, but like this ROM hack changes it to be translated more accurately. And yeah. Can I power up this partner? Yes, please. Shazibi! Shazubi! Had to power up more? Yeah, I'll power up Coops as well. Let's go. I'll power up this partner? Yes. Jazibi! Jazubi! Then you may go. So we now have a uh, multi-bonk for Goombella, which is, yeah, they just keep, she keeps bouncing on the same enemy until you mess up the button press. Uh, I think there's usually a cap on that. In the first game, there's a cap on multi-bounces for each boss, so that you can't just use this and win the bite in one turn. Um, in, the in the original Paper Mario, that was bugged, actually, so that if you used... Uh, like a multi-bounce once, then every subsequent multi-bonk after that would only get like one bounce. Uh, I think they fixed that in this one. We will find out. <laughs> uh, Coops, yeah, it upped his attack power, but it also gave us... It upped, it upped the HP as well. I think it might have done. I, I think their HP is a little bit higher. We also got Shell Shield. Protect Mario from attacks with a giant shell. I don't think I ever used that in my previous playthroughs, but I might. We'll see. This is... Uh, no, I've got the wrong message. I was trying to talk to Merlon. Hang on. There we go. That's Merlon. He's this odd old man who says really bizarre things sometimes. 
It helps power up your allies here. For three shine spots, raises a partner one rank. So yeah, um, in the original Paper Mario, you just found rank up blocks, and you hit them, and it let you rank up immediately. Here you find blocks with shine sprites in, when you have enough shine sprites, you come back here and use them. I think this system might be better, since it means there's more hidden things to find, but... Uh, the other way was nice, that you could just power up in the middle of a dungeon or whatever, so... Trade-offs, you know? Can we go to this side of town yet? Will you still be blocking the path? That's Zesty, a super skilled toad chef. With the right ingredients, she can make anything. Like kitchen magician. I am like a total club from the kitchen, so I really expect a chef's touch. Okay, we have to find her contact lens before we can go over there, and we need to go over there. So let's. This is her house. Uh, she will be in here and be able to cook stuff for us once we find the lens. We haven't yet. I don't think it's in here. It's been a long time, I can't remember exactly where things are, but... Uh. Visit this shop and see if they have lenses? They might. They do not. This is just a regular item shop, nothing exciting here. Listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta get it out there. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town up until about three months ago. Yeah, a good one. Then the heat came down and I needed to hide out, so I came to Rogueport. Now that I told you, you've gotta keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> I'm so cool. That's my Goomba. A Goomba, obviously. I think maybe he's on the lamb from somewhere? I mean, why else would he be chilling in this back alley? It's nasty here. I mean, you're not wrong. Pretty gross. Um, we got this guy. Hello. Man, yesterday I blew through 300 coins at the parlor. You believe that? The next time I'm gonna win. Just mark my words, man. I've got a system now. That's a suspicious Dugan. He craves that one big score, but I doubt it'll happen. I mean, even if he did make some money, he'd just blow it. He depresses me. That was a sad one. Did I go to say? Not quite. You got some kind of problem? You think you can just barge into my hideout, buddy? You're probably just jealous. No one's snooping around. It's the perfect hideout spot. With all this garbage, there are tons of flies and stuff. Who'd want to come in here? That's a band that just made this place his hideout. Looks like he totally loves this place, but would it kill him to clean up a bit? Can I clean up? Can I hit the bugs and stuff? I don't think I can. Doesn't look like it. I forget what I'm supposed to do at this point. <laughs> I need to find that contact lens somewhere. I'm in the party with a lot of perfume. Uh, yeah, sure. Flurry? Hey, 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 yo. All the hottest new products right here. Look no further. Yeah, I want to buy something. Uh, slow go, shooting star, jam and jelly, W album, emblem. Any of those things. I've completely forgotten what I'm supposed to do. Um... Maybe Luigi can help me? Hello. I went to Rumble Bomb Volcano and got myself a marvellous compass piece. It was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of adventuring. Pretty nuts though, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. No, I'm good. Oh, really? You're lost, bro. Maybe I'll tell you about it some other time, huh? So, uh, Luigi is on his own adventure to find the pieces of the marvellous compass, which is basically the same game that we're playing, just with a slightly different story. And we can hear about his incredible exploits as we play. It's pretty funny. Uh, can you tell me anything useful? No. I have a feeling that one area down in the sewers is where I need to take uh, Flurry because she can blow the wall apart. Let's have a little look. Again, it's been a while.
Actually, it's not far. So, down here. What I was thinking of is... Oops. Turning into combat. Hello. We have the super boots now, it's not really a big deal. <laughs> This corner here, maybe we can do something with this. I mean, I got a badge. I like Happy Heart P, that's a good one. Doesn't really help me with my current situation, but it's nice. I actually like to re equip Happy Heart if I can. There we go. And happy RP as well. Let's just get a lot of regeneration going. Okay, so there's something I need to do with either Flurry or the Spin Jump to progress back in Rogueport that I've forgotten about because it's been a long time since I've played this game. I'm guessing it's to do with the Spin Jump because you get Flurry earlier in the chapter. I could be wrong. This side. See if I do something. The troubles board. You don't need to do any of this. That's all optional. So that's not it either. Anything in the back here? I guess I'll I guess I'll be looking it up uh, for the next video because we're at half an hour and I can't remember what to do. <laughs> oh jeez. But yeah, we, we need to go to the other side of town, which means we need to find that contact lens somewhere. Uh, so that we can get past you. Is there anything in here that helps us? I don't think so. Larry, can you anything here. And yeah, once we have the contact lens, we can go to the other side of town, we can uh, find, meet with Don Pianta and we can progress the story, which just... I forget where the contact lens is. <laughs> so that's going to be it for this video. Uh, next time, I will check a guide off camera just so I can remember what you're supposed to do, uh, and then I'll progress from there. <laughs> oh jeez, this game is a masterpiece. I'm just tired. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious me. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna go meet with Don Pianta. Bye.